The Hearst Police Department was gathering more evidence today after last night's deadly officer-involved shooting. The call started out as domestic disturbance, but at some point, and less than half a mile away, the situation turned deadly. Fox Force Phil Albrado in Hearst right now with the latest on the police investigation film. Steve, it was two blocks away that police responded to that uh, domestic violence uh, call uh, at an apartment complex. Uh, police today trying to determine if the man who was shot and killed uh, pointed and fired his gun at officers. One of the reasons that the police were back in this backyard where the shots were fired. Crime scene investigators returned to the backyard where the shots were fired. Police say they're looking for shell casings and any other evidence they can find that can tell them more about the shooting. It was just like, you know, boom, 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 boom. You know, so it was really fast, just like, uh, you know, just rapid fire. So, but that's what I'm saying. My, my guess would have been about four. Marilyn Potter came out to check on her neighbor. He didn't want to be on camera, but says his granddaughter was on a back patio when 51-year-old James Dunaway came over the neighbor's fence and into her backyard. The grandfather says she saw a gun in Dunaway's hand. A second later, a Hearst police officer jumped the fence, and then she heard the gunshots. And then my husband was sitting in the living room, and he said, somebody's banging on the front door and ringing the doorbell. Hearst police say they're still trying to track Dunaway's steps. Police say he left an apartment around the corner where police were responding to a domestic disturbance call. Police searched the area and saw him in the 1300 block of Redbud Drive where they chased him on foot. The owner of the house where the shooting occurred says he thinks Dunaway may have been headed back to the street when police caught up with him. I think he was trying to find a place to hide. The record showed that uh, Dunaway has had uh, several run-ins with police, and in the, to five of those cases, it shows that he was running away from police. Steve? Okay, Phil, uh, domestic disturbance call is how this started. Do we even know if he was the guy involved in the domestic disturbance and what happened in that situation? And, and then I, I'm also curious about more, any more you know about the officer involved, too. Yeah, uh, police say that, uh, you know, he is the man that, that was described to them and uh, they say that apparently the call involves some threats, but that's all they can tell us at this okay. point. Uh, you know, we went to the apartment, but people who were there didn't want to talk uh, to us. Uh, and uh, as far as the officer involved, uh, police say they haven't released uh, his name, but they say that that's something that they will do once they get further in the investigation. Okay. Phil Alvarado and Hearst, thanks.